In order to access the time clock feature of the software, we'll go ahead and click on time clock. And in this time clock feature, all your employees need to do is uh, enter their employee number and hit punch in or punch out. They don't need to worry about entering the other fields. They will automatically be filled in. Um, for faster operation, all you need is employee number and this main button for punching in and out. And of course, the software will know um, due to the activity of that current day, whether you've punched in already previously, it will punch you out, or if you haven't punched in, it will punch you in. So therefore, just one button is enough for fast uh, service. And um, the employee number can be manually typed in, or it could be, let's say, swipe with a card if you made uh, cards for your employees with their employee numbers. Or it could be like a card with a barcode on it that represents the employee number. So when you, when they scan it with a barcode scanner, you can fill it in in here. You know. For now, we'll just manually type it in, and the example we'll use is one of our existing um, employees that we already created um, in one of the previous videos when we were entering, showing you how to enter employees into the system. I believe that employee number was 007 so we'll go ahead with that and click the punch in punch out button and as you can see it punched us in now uh, if after a while uh, the employee naturally wants to punch out they go through the same process time clock and as soon as the uh, employee number is entered or let's say they swipe the employee card they click punch in or punch out and that's it they're punched out as you can see the two different times they're differing only in seconds right now because we just did them too close to each other for the purpose of this demonstration uh, however uh, if there's ever a mistake in the times or a, an employee forgot to punch out as they left or they even forgot to punch in uh, that happens very often um, and you need to manually edit something or enter time you would simply go to managers menu time clock table there's a table or a grid that under normal working circumstances if we we're working on daily basis this would be full of data in here and it will have multiple records and each one record um, each one row in this table will represent a single employee on a single date and all of their you know punch in punch out times um, so once you find the record that you're interested in let's say it's this one right now the only one we have and you figure out what you need to change in it like let's say the punch out time we wanted to change it from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock all you need to do is uh, take a note of the employee number and the date and then just click edit so in here you fill out the employee number and the date let's say this is the date we want it and click edit so you'll be editing the time times for this date and this employee number it gives you what it already has and you already figured out what you wanted to change the punch out time you wanted to change it from 10 o'clock to 11 so you simply just set it right in here in the box it's going to allow you to edit and you click update in the end for the changes to take effect to be saved in the database and it inform, inform you that it did that so now we can go ahead and double check managers menu time clock table and as you can see it's 11 o'clock of course similarly if we had a missing time if they forgot to uh, punch out we just fill out one of the boxes that were missing in there like so we would fill out let's say a time in here and we'll hit update so it's pretty much the same procedure 